What's up guys, Cliff here from the Sunday Drive and today we're working on some high pressure GM injectors that you'll find on most newer GM vehicles and we're gonna show you guys how to replace the seals. Now many of you probably know that we're deleting the DOD or active fuel management system on my 2014 Silverado. Now the first time we removed the fuel rail uh, when we did the first DOD delete, and if you're wondering why we did two on my truck, check those videos out. Um, but if you remember, I bent the one fuel rail. A lot of these injectors got messed up. They were just completely seized inside of the old heads and they were really difficult to get out. So I ended up replacing all of the injectors on the truck. So when we first shot that video series, we didn't have a need of replacing any of the seals. Um, however, uh, since we're removing a new fuel rail, we were able to get these fuel rails out cleanly and the injector seals are one-time use. And this being a high pressure fuel system, you really, uh, it's, it's not worth the risk. If you're already in there, it's not a lot of money. You might as well go ahead and replace those injector seals. Now, I know a lot of guys that will pull this out, especially on lower, uh, lower mileage engines and they'll just reuse their stock seals and they don't seem to have a problem. But for me, I'm already in there. I might as well go ahead and do it. Plus, we can make a video for you guys. Now, you do need a special tool to do this. We're gonna be showing you guys how to use this tool. You probably could make something with some washers and fittings that would do the same job. If you don't have access to this tool, and we'll have the part number for this tool linked down in the description. I'm not sure how pricey it is yet because I haven't looked it up, but knowing GM tools, it's probably fairly pricey. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have a good relationship with a dealer and be able to get access to some tools. But if you don't wanna go ahead and purchase it, most dealers are probably gonna be okay. Just take your fuel rails into them, become friends with your service tech, and just have him pop those new seals on for you. But if that is not your case and you wanna be adventurous and go ahead and do it in yourself, this video will help you out. So if you're gonna do this job, this is everything that comes in the kit. We'll have the part number for the parts down in the description as well as a link to those. Um, the only thing we're gonna be replacing today are these eight lower seals. However, if you are actually replacing the injector, you're gonna need these top two seals. Um, there's gonna be two for each injector and then two of these for each injector. However, since we are keeping everything on the rail, we're just gonna need these. They also include new brackets. So if you're replacing your injector again, you'll have a new bracket to install it with. And one thing that GM added, I don't know if they added this in the 15 or 16 model year since my Silverado was a 14, uh, the first year of my generation, they added these little umbrellas. Uh, so when I went and took apart the new motor I got from that 2016 truck that we're installing DOD in right now, um, it had these umbrellas. So I, I didn't know what these were because it, it was my first time doing it. But what GM did, um, I guess they realized that their injectors are getting completely corroded and stuck to the heads and almost impossible to get out. Um, so they added this umbrella there, which is just going to sit down right like that. Uh, I talked to the GM tech, he said they still do tend to get stuck over time and they can still be a pain to get out, but these should help so that you guys don't have as much of a problem as I did if you're working at least on a 16 or newer Silverado, possibly a 15. But that's a nice added feature that we're gonna be adding and I did confirm these are compatible with your 14 style injectors. So you can reuse, you can use these even if you have an older uh, injector. All right, so the way this kit works is very simple. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove your stock gaskets. Now you're gonna need a pick tool and you wanna be careful when you're using your pick tool uh, that you don't scrape the side of your injector if you can avoid it. Now you're just gonna need a pick tool to remove the injector. All right, so you're just gonna try to come in from the bottom here and get underneath of it. Now this is a pretty hard plastic. It's not uh, completely brittle, but usually when you're doing this, this plastic ring will actually snap off, which is completely okay because you're replacing it. Gotta get up under there if you can. I'm being a little more careful so you can see. There we go. Got that to break. Once you get under there, work it off. There we go. So that's how they're removed, and now I'm just gonna go down and remove the rest. Now GM recommends anytime an injector is removed from the vehicles, uh, regardless of whether you're changing the injector out or not, that these seals should be replaced. So this is a four-piece tool, and I'm first gonna show you how it works, and then we'll demonstrate it. Uh, so we're gonna take the longer conical-shaped object right here, and you're gonna wanna slip that on the end. So this is the longer of the two. And then you're gonna take this push tool, or pushing tool, and use this to slide down, and you're gonna push that gasket down 
and into place. So that's gonna be the innermost gasket. Uh, once that's done, you're gonna want to press it in with your fingers, and then you take this tool, slide it on, let it sit there for a second, and that's going to uh, fully seat the new gasket in place. And then you simply repeat the process with the smaller conical shaped object that's gonna slide on top. Slide your gasket on, press it on with this tool, Again, resize it with your fingers. That is important because if you don't do that, this tool can actually push it off. So once you've sized those both down, you can then slide your tool on top. And that will be all there is to it. Slide that back off. So let's show you guys how this works. So install the longer of the two conical tools. Place one of your gaskets on. Then take the pushing tool. It's gonna pop over top of the gasket a little bit like that. Then you're just gonna Press it all the way down, all right. If it goes fast a little bit, that's okay. Just pull it back up into place because now it's nice and loose. Now you're gonna wanna press it in firmly with your fingers, all right. Now you're gonna take your compression tool and the reason you wanna press this in with your fingers is this compression tool can actually push it right back off if it's still too loose. Now to make sure that these are fully seated the tool will basically sit flush with the top of the injector. And just work it back off carefully. But you can see it's starting to flatten out and fill out that space. Now, a lot of times your tool will get stuck inside of this pusher. So you can just push that back out. If you need to, you can use the other. Tool. Oh, that actually popped all the way out, so it just slid out. But sometimes it'll be stuck in here like that. Then just take your other tool or a screwdriver or something, and you can pop that back out. Now take the shorter one, place that right there. All right. All right. There you go. And again, just press it down the best you can. Now you're gonna to wanna to leave it on here for at least a few seconds. I don't know what the official spec is, but uh, we're just gonna leave it on here for a little bit before we pull it back off. Right. And then just wiggle this back off. Now we're gonna install these little umbrellas. They're just gonna sit on there right like that. And these should make it nicer the next time you need to remove your injectors. So that's all we're shooting in this video. However, if you do need to know how to replace your injector, we are gonna have a video on that at the link above. So definitely check that out if you need to do that portion. But for our purposes, with our DOD Delete, we are done. We got the fuel out cleanly. We have new gaskets and umbrellas on all our injectors. So we're ready to get this back into my motor. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, definitely give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe. And as always, the parts linked down in the description do uh, give us a little bit of a kickback. So we really appreciate it when you go through our links. It helps us keep bringing videos and content like this to you guys. And if you haven't checked it out already, be sure to check out the DOD Delete series on my Silverado. We're gonna have one up on a Corvette sometime here in the near future. So uh, stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.